Hey, so we have a really interesting problem on the board. We have the integral from e to the to minus 1 over e of the Lambert W function dx. Thought it would be interesting while I'm working on Lambert W function problems and integrals to get both integrals and Lambert W into one problem. So here we go. The problem I see is what are we going to do with this piece? So I think the standard route here would be to go straight to integration by parts. But I think actually, what I want to do is try u substitution. I think this is going to work out nice. So I'm just so I'm just going to make my u equal w x. What that's going to allow me to do is I can kind of use this formula in reverse. So if we have a u, we can actually rewrite this as w u e to the u, right? Just noticing if we use that formula the other way, we get back our u. But then if W u to the e to the u is equal to, if, if this is equal to this, then we can equate what's inside, and we're going to have this thing that we can deal with more nicely, u e to the u equals x. So that's going to be helpful for us right there. So let's box that for a second. But then now we want our dx for doing our u substitution, so let's take the derivative on both sides. So on the right side here, we're going to have dx. On this piece, we're going to use the product rule. So I'll take the derivative of u, which is 1 times e to the u plus u. Derivative of e to the u is just e to the u. And so our dx is going to be, let's write our dx. I'm just going to factor out the eu for now. We're going to have eu times u plus 1. So now I'm going to rewrite our integral in terms of u. And when I do that, I'm going to re remove the limits of integration just because I'm going to come back to that later. So, so rewriting this, we're going to have our wx is u. So we're going to have u. And then we have our dx value, which is going to be e to the u, u plus 1, du. Oh, and I forgot my du here. You guys can be mad later. Okay, so there's our du. And what I can do to clean this a little bit is I just want to multiply this in here. I'm just going to rewrite it all. So we're going to have e to the u, u squared plus u du. So now this isn't too bad. This is just kind of like a normal everyday integral that we're used to dealing with. We've kind of got the complexity of having Lambert W in there, out of there. And now we're just doing regular integrals. So the way I want to handle this is integration by parts. So let's do that. I'm going to move the screen a little bit. Hold on a second. Just you guys stay where you are for a sec. Okay, hopefully no one left. So we're going to do integration by parts on this. Okay. We're going to use the DI method or tabular integration. So we're going to have two columns. We're going to have D and an I to integrate, to differentiate and integrate. And so what I want to do is I want to use my polynomial to differentiate. Because if you differentiate a polynomial, it always reduces and eventually reduces to zero. So let's do that. We're going to have our plus u squared plus u, and to integrate we'll do our eu. This will do plus, minus, plus, I'm not sure how many rows we need. And then you'll see differentiating this, okay, so this is really easy, we're going to have 2u plus 1, the derivative of this is going to be just 2, and the derivative of this is going to be 0. And that's exactly what we want, because we know it's going to terminate. So then we integrate, we'll have e to the u, e to the u, e to the u, and then our answer, it's just going to be these diagonals. We don't have to worry about this last row because we have a zero here. So this integral of zero is zero, and we don't, we don't care about that. So then we can just kind of take this and write our answer. Let's do this real quick. And you know what I'm going to do? Since we have an EU in each row, I'm just going to factor that out and not really worry about it for a second. So we'll have e to the u on the outside, and then we'll have u squared plus u. We have a minus on this row, so minus 2u, distributing in the minus sign, minus 1, plus 2. And let's just rewrite that as we get some terms that we can clean up here. Now, if you remember, this is our original substitution for x. Okay, so that's going to be easy. And then you'll notice what we can do is we can break this up. So let's rewrite this. We're going to write this as u times u eu so we get another x here and this one we already determined is x and this one we're going to deal with later well, actually we'll deal with it now how about that so 
So from here we can get everything back in terms of x because we know what that is, we know our u, so this u is going to be w of x, so we're going to have w of x, this is just an x, minus x, and then e to u is plus e to the w of x. Okay, good. So we've got our expression in terms of x. Now, now we can deal with our limits of integration, which is just we're going to be evaluating this from e to the minus 1 over e. You may notice this wasn't a coincidence that I chose those values, right? Because I chose them because they're going to be easy for me to calculate and I'm not going to have to do too much work later. So that's great. So let's evaluate this, but let's see what's so special about the, these two values of e and minus 1 over e. So first, let's, let's just look at the Lambert W of e. We can actually rewrite this. We can be very explicit and write our exponent of 1, sorry, our coefficient of 1 and our exponent of 1. And then using our favorite formula, right, we have the same exponent and coefficient. So then this is actually just going to be the same thing as 1. And then we can do something similar with, with this value. This is a really special value because, well, let's see why it's a special value. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this guy. So let's look at the Lambert W of minus 1 over E. So Lambert W minus 1 over E. Again, we can rewrite this. We want to we want to rewrite it so we can use our favorite formula like that, like what we did previously. So let's write it as minus 1 E to the negative 1, right? Just moving it to the numerator. And then we're in our format. We have the same coefficient in numerator. And so this value is just going to be negative 1. So this is going to be helpful when we do when we plug in our limits of integration. We get these this information. Let's just let's just do this now. We plug in our e into lambda w, and so we know this is going to be one. So we're going to have one times x, which is e, minus x, which is e again, plus e lambda w v again is one. So e to the one is just e. Okay, so this is going to be our first part, and then we're going to subtract our second part. Plugging this in here, we have our minus 1 value, so we have minus 1 times minus 1 over e for x. Then we're going to have minus, minus 1 over e, so that's just going to be a plus 1 over e. And then for our last one, we have plus e, uh, Lambert W, again, minus 1 which is minus one over e. And so let's see how this all shakes out. So simplifying e minus e, this is zero, but we still have this e, so we're gonna have e. Um, and let's simplify this in this parentheses. So here a minus times a minus is a plus. And then actually this is just, if we rewrite this, it's just another one over e. But we actually have three of these things adding it. So that's actually gonna be, 3 over e. So that's pretty cool. So we're just subtracting that 3 over e. So we have minus 3 over e. And that's actually our solution. And so for this, you don't need any, um, you don't need any fancy calculations. You can just use your calculator. Our solution is going to be, if you want, just want the exact solution, e minus 3 over e or 1.614 e to 4. Stopping there. Got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W function. It's got, it's got more of the odd problems, the, integr the integrals and derivatives and stuff. So if you want to do some more practice, please check that out. Thanks for watching.